What is up traders? My name is Jonathan. I'm the owner of SysFX. And in today's video, we're going to go over the new replay tool that they put into TradingView where it actually shows the currency. I'm putting this out there for you guys to learn. Whether you be a Forex trader, whether you be a futures trader, a stock trader, using this replay tool is going to help you out. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's get right into it. We'll just pick a random pair. And we'll start this here. And we're actually just going to clear this out. And then go back a little bit. I don't think it matters if I win or lose, right? I think I'm just here to show you how it works. Well, actually, let me start from the beginning, beginning. So, my apologies. So, we pick CAD, CHF. If you hold down Shift and you have a mouse, right? If you have a mouse, um, you can hold down Shift and it'll scroll back for you. I don't know if you knew that. So, instead of doing click and drag, just hold down Shift to scroll your wheel. You'll go back a little bit further. Now, to use a replay tool, it's up here. You see it? So wherever you, so you click the replay tool first. Let's say here, anything before to the left of this blue line is going to be uh, shown, and the one on the right is going to be uh, is going to disappear. So once you do that, automatically you'll see the sell and sell and buy button here. So let me show you how it works. It's uh it says the unit is a thousand. So I'm guessing the account's a thousand, and the and the lot size is about I'm going to say point one zero because. 0 0.10 lots for most most brokers. That's usually how it works. That's how it worked for me anyway, from from what I've seen. So for example, um, I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna use a strategy. I'm just gonna go ahead and press buy. You'll see it says a thousand, and then it's gonna show you the number it actually placed the order at. So if you go forward, right, it'll tell you if it goes up or down. Now, whenever you're satisfied with with the trade, right, let's say it went to went into profit and you like it. You can press X to close the position, or you can find it out by pressing down here. It's the same thing, All right? So it's gonna do the same thing. Press the X up here, or flying, it'll do the same thing. So now on the bottom right here, you'll see it's 58 um, cents into profit. So you, you bought here and then you sold here. That's how it works. Now the other way is the exact same way. So let's say, let me move this forward so it's not so cluttered. So that's one thing I noticed, if you put it two together, it'll be cluttered and you won't even see the chart anymore. Because it's bombarded with, um, it's bombarded with the freaking buy and sell thing here. So I'll just go ahead and let's press sell. See what happens. Now let's say you're dissatisfied with the sell, negative thirty eight. So you, what you can do is, you can do this reverse the position. So it'll what that does is it'll lock in this uh, loss and it'll turn the other way for you. So you see down here it went down and now you have a buy right there. And that's how that works. Now, when you're all done trading, you just keep doing it, right? When you're all done trading, let's say I close my position. And um, you're done trading. This is what it this is what it was, right? When you're done trading, it'll tell you your total profit here. You just press this button right here that says jump to real time chart. And this screen is going to pop up. Your hard work shows on Canadian Swiss and bar replay. Profit four dollars and thirty nine cents. Success rate of sixty six, and it'll tell you the most profitable trade you had, and that's pretty much how it works, guys. I don't want to make it too long for you, so hopefully you learned something. Hey guys, hopefully you learned something. This is literally, I was looking on YouTube, nobody had it on. I had to email Trading View. They finally showed me how it works, so I decided to make a video for you guys. Hit that like button if you learned something. See you guys later.